It's Tuesday, and that means it's time to talk Southwestern University Athletics. It's always glad to have you with us. We start today talking track and field alongside head coach Andrew Deal and Kim McConico. Coach, as always, thanks for your time. Um, got a few meets coming up. You'll be headed back to the Alamo City next Thursday, taking a small group down to the Spring Break Classic there at Incarnate Word University, and then off to uh, your Spring Break trip, headed down to beautiful Gulf Shores, Alabama. Before we talk about those, let's uh, backtrack a bit and talk about your successful weekend down at the Trinity Opener. Yeah, yeah. Super happy with how we competed. Um, saw a lot of great efforts, uh, a lot of great things to build off of. You know, it was the first trip where we took everybody and uh, had decent weather, uh, which is much better than we had in Abilene the weekend before. But uh, all in all, very, very happy. Uh, you know, Devin Rosas had a lifetime best in the long jump. Um, Jay Ashley had a great opener in the long jump. Uh, Mallory Harkins, uh, Hannah Bruce in the discus. Uh, our women's four by one, men's four by one, um, uh, Robert Roebuck in the hundred, just so many great performances um, for us to kind of start the year off of. It's really exciting to, to continue to build off of that and um, continue in, you know, most of them will be competing the next time at Gulf Shores. So seeing some different competition, people we've never seen before. So that'll be good. And uh, hopefully we go in a little bit relaxed on, uh, on our spring break trip. And yeah. Before we talk about this Gulf Shores trip, you mentioned something to build upon. Is this the kind of performance, team performance, that you can build upon? Oh, 100%. Yeah, you know, for, for our women in the 4x1, uh, we're, we're faster than we were last year, point blank. Um, we're healthy, we're, we're feeling good, and, you know, we're running a, we ran a great time, uh, faster than we did last year. And last year we had an injury bug, and, you know, Jay Ashley wasn't able to compete with us the last two weekends and some different things like that. And, you know, having her back's a big piece of, of, our, of our four by one running fast. So, um, you know, staying healthy and obviously that's going to be a big thing throughout the year. But um, we're in a position with our first years and, and our additions uh, to the team this year to run some pretty good times um, faster than we did last year for sure. And, um, you know, from our first years of, of Erica Roebuck, um, and Brittany Carteret on the on the women's side to Robert Roebuck and, and Carlton Covington on the on the men's side, but also, you know, keeping Devin Roses healthy, Keith Roop in the hurdles. Uh, you know, the list goes on and on. And um, you know, we get uh, Key Amber McCracken um, out, who will be a great long hurdler for us. Uh, she just finished up basketball, and we get Aaron Toro, the former shot put record holder, um, back out for us as well. So. A lot of things to continue building off of, and, and we're really excited, and the team was happy with their performance. Fantastic. A lot of young talent on this side, obviously. Some improved times from last year. Looking to improve upon those times when you head down to Gulf Shores, Alabama. It'll be the small college invite starting Friday, March the 22nd. I asked you this. I said, are there going to be a lot of teams from the southeast? And you said, no, these are going to be teams from up north trying to trying to find better weather for their spring break. Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, the, the main one I know is Calvin um, College in Michigan. Uh, great distance program uh, it should be some really really good races uh, you know they're really dominant on the distance side but all around a great team they're in a very very strong conference um, they've got some really good throwers as well and uh, you know we'll see a team an NAIA team from New Orleans and, and some different schools mixed in that you know we probably won't ever see again uh, at least this year um, unless we were able to to go to a last chance qualifier in May or, or potentially the national championships or something like that but um, no, it should be a good trip, um, a good way to, to get away from campus, to break up training, to, to relax a little bit, focus on running fast at a meet, and, um, you know, and, and have some fun in between of, of building the team and building some camaraderie and all that. Coach, one final question for you. Generally, in sports like baseball and basketball, you're going to have a few games a week. This is a pretty big layoff between what you had down in the Trinity opener. We said you're going to take a small group down to back to San Antonio, the IWU spring break classic but for those runners and throwers the jumpers that won't be competing there how do you how do you keep that momentum with this long of a break between mates yeah great question you know for us um we we didn't come out of trinity unscathed um so a little banged up a little beat up um but we're in our training cycles um you know so this week's a recovery week for us and um, trying to get everybody healthy leading into Gulf Shores because once we get back from Gulf Shores, um, we pretty much go every weekend. Um, and there's I think three weekends in a row where we go Thursday or where we go Friday, Saturday. Um, so really just gearing up and getting us in a good place to finish the season strong, you know. And um, 
for us, our academic calendar is a little weird this year that our spring break's a week later than it normally is and some different things like that. But, uh, you know, this weekend is the indoor national championship, so there's almost no meets in the entire state of Texas. Uh, but for us, it's a, it's a good chance to kind of sit back, let the kids evaluate how if they competed at Harden Simmons and Trinity, things that we can continue to work on in practice. Um, for those that competed really well, you know, it's just continuing to build off of that. And so it's almost like they got a little bit of a taste um, of the season and what they can do. And hopefully we can have two really good focused weeks of practice so that, you know, when we get to Gulf Shores, we can go in relaxed or primed. And from there on, you know, it's it's a sprint. You know, we're gonna be gone every weekend and, and competing at some big meets, Texas State, SFA, uh, Incarnate Word again, and Trinity, and, and then all of a sudden we're at our conference championships, and uh, it's go time. Go time indeed, talking Pirates track and field. Coach, as always, we appreciate your time. Thanks.